Here we're going to talk about the quotient rule for taking derivatives. So the quotient rule is only applicable if your original function has x's in the top and the bottom of the quotient. So you have a fraction, that's what we call a quotient, and it has x's both in the top and the bottom. If it didn't have x's both places, I would not use the quotient rule. So this rule is a long one. Our derivative comes from taking first the derivative of the top, and order does matter on this because it has subtraction in it. And 10 minus 8 is different than 8 minus 10. So order matters with subtraction. So you take the derivative of the top first, multiply it with the original bottom. Minus for quotient, so product is plus, quotient is minus, the derivative of the bottom times the original top all over the original bottom gets squared. So you have x's in the top and the bottom, you take the derivative of the top, original bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom times the original top. So kind of like the product rule in that you have a derivative times an original. And then you start off with a quotient in the question and you end with a quotient in your answer. You divide again by the bottom squared. So let's apply this to this first example. We have x to the fifth minus 6x all over x cubed plus 4. So definitely x is in both the top and the bottom, which tells me I have to use the quotient rule. So I'm going to write it off to the side here to check it off. Derivative of the top, original bottom, minus derivative of the bottom times the original top all over the original bottom gets squared. The more we write it, the more we say it, the easier it will be to remember. So I'm going to write f prime of x equals, and I need to start with the derivative of the top. So x to the fifth, bring down that power, you get 5x to the four. Derivative of negative 6x is negative 6, our mini rule. Derivative of the top gets multiplied with the original bottom, x cubed plus 4. Quotient always has minus. Now we're going to take the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Derivative of 4 is a constant, so it's 0. There's the derivative of the bottom. That gets multiplied with the original top. x to the fifth minus 6x all over the original bottom gets squared. The original bottom is x cubed plus 4 getting squared. So lots of pieces. Derivative of the top, original bottom, minus derivative of the bottom times the original top all over the denominator squared. Um, notice that 3x squared is just one term, so it didn't need parentheses. I'm going to always put parentheses in. I think it's easier to you fill out this rule to even start with parentheses. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do for this next one. We have g of x. It has x's in the top and in the bottom. So its derivative is going to require this quotient rule. I'm going to give myself some spaces. Derivative of the top, original bottom, minus derivative of the bottom times the original top all over the original denominator gets squared. And I'm just going to fill it out piece by piece. So you start working your way from top to bottom. First thing you do is the derivative of the top. So derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of 3 is 0. It's a constant. So the derivative of the top is just 2x. The original bottom is e to the x minus ln of x. Derivative of the top, original bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom. What's the derivative of e to the x? e to the x minus, what was the derivative of the natural log of x? Our rule 9, derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. So we did the derivative of the top, original bottom, minus derivative of the bottom. Now we need to multiply by the original top in there. So we need to multiply by that x squared plus 3 all over the original denominator gets squared. So a long rule, but doing the four-step process and the limit definition of a derivative would take way longer than this. So still a shortcut to know this rule. Okay, so if we look at h of x, we have x's in the top and in the bottom. It's going to be a quotient rule. I'm gonna give myself some space, derivative of the top, original bottom minus derivative of the bottom times the original top 
all over the original denominator squared. First thing, what is the derivative of the top? You have e to the 2x. So it is raised to a power that's not just a regular x. So this is our rule six. If your power is more than x, you're going to take the derivative of the power. So derivative of 2x is 2. You do the derivative of the power times e to the original power. And then we have derivative of negative 1. That's a constant, so its derivative is just 0. So the whole derivative of the top is 2e to the 2x. Derivative of the top gets multiplied with the original bottom. ln of x plus 3. Minus, now we're going to take the other derivative and multiply it with the other original. So derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. Derivative of 3 is a constant, so that derivative is 0. So we did the derivative of the bottom. That's going to get multiplied with the original top. e to the 2x minus 1 all over the original denominator, ln of x plus 3 gets squared. Derivative of the top, original bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom times the original top, all over the original denominator squared. And there's credit along the way here. If you don't know part of it, like say you're looking at this top and you're panicked, you don't remember this rule six, you could still at least write the original bottom, derivative of the bottom, original top, all over the denominator squared. There's so much you can do even if you're stuck on one piece on these longer rules. So see if you can try this last one. Pause the video and run through that quotient rule because there are x's in the top and the bottom. I'm going to give myself some space. Derivative of the top, original bottom, minus derivative of the bottom times the original top, all over the original denominator squared. So derivative of the top, natural log of x is 1 over x. And then we have minus, we're going to bring down that 30, raise x to the 29. Derivative of the top, get to copy down the original bottom now. e to the x plus 4x. Now the derivative of the bottom, the derivative of 8 to the x, ln of 8 times 8 to the x. Derivative of 4x is 4, our mini rule. So we have rule 7 here, you might need to go back and review it. And then our mini rule. Derivative of the top was with the original bottom, minus we did the derivative of the bottom, a tricky one. Now that gets multiplied with the original top, ln of x minus x to the 30. All over the original denominator, 8 to the x plus 4x gets squared. So again, derivative of the top, original bottom, minus derivative of the bottom times the original top, all over the original denominator squared.